something. Okay, I'm back in Valtime Towers. I've been doing a little bit of housekeeping. Um, you might remember, there used to be a fire pit out here. Well, I thought it was silly, so I've consoled it out. And if we take a look through here... Go... Ignore the blood. I've added a cooking pot here. And an entire fireplace. I found a new mod. Um, the Pocket Empire Builder, I think it's called. And I can't believe I've not found it before. It's brilliant. It allows you to practically take any structure and just park it in the space. It's a bit tedious to move things around, but basically it's going to allow me to really build up a lovely fortified area. Got a tanning rack in so I can put in smelters and forges and everything like that. So I can really make this area a bandit haven. And this is going to suit the hike down to the ground, because it doesn't mean I need to run to the arse end of nowhere to find a smelter. And it means when I take over camps and things, I can properly fortify them and build my own little cities and towns and eventually a kingdom. Look at that, Dragon's Reach off in the distance. Who needs Dragon's Reach? I don't need Dragon's Reach, I could build my own. Obviously there are a few issues, like this is the top of that chimney downstairs, but I was just testing it out. So I'll just... I'll get rid of it and move it somewhere else where that won't happen. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The blood actually happened, yeah, as you can see, there's a bandit invisible somewhere. Not sure why. Um, but they respawned in this area and started attacking, so um, we fought them off quite well, didn't we, Goldir? In fact, there's one of them. And we know what happens to people I kill in my tower. Off they go. It's getting quite dirty down there. All the detritus from my various travels and a few corpses. But anyway. Alright, so I am in a good mood after finding that mod. So between episodes and things, if I'm in the area of somewhere I've taken over, I'm going to take some time out to fortify it. Now, Frostfall is better in terms of constructing and placing tents and things. Let me just... I'll give you a quick example. Let's just, um... Where is it? So you get a little ring, you put it on. And then you get a menu, and then... Well, let's go for just something big straight away. Uh, miscellaneous buildings, what are these? Farm windmill, let's go with that. Deploy windmill. We summon, and there we are, I have a windmill. And then you can adjust it on well, the positions. It's quite tedious to move everything around, but there we go, when you're happy. You can go in its... You can't walk past the walls or anything. I have a windmill. How awesome is that? I don't know where the actual windmill blades are. Oh well. But yeah, I'm very happy with that. And then there's a spell to activate things. And then you can pick them up, adjust positions. Ah, deploy windmill fan. Interesting. Oh, there we are. <laughs> That's awesome. Right, but I obviously don't want the windmill bangs back in the, in the way, so I can remove it. And it's gone. Oh. <laughs> and we'll get rid of that as well. And selected. Remove. Look at that. That I cannot believe I've never noticed this mod before. That's fantastic. Just to give you a quick um, comparison. So here are the Frostfall tents. I've got a couple. And these you simply drop, click pitch, and then you can actually... They adjust themselves to where you're pointing, so I could move it anywhere, and it will adjust, and then it will level itself to the ground, just like that. And then it glows a different colour if it's near a fireplace or something, just to indicate that it's going to keep you warm as well. And that'll pitch itself, and then it's a fully functional tent that keeps you warm at night. It takes a few seconds. 
There we are. And what's great about this is you see all the gear I'm wearing when you go into a Frostfall tent. Well, you say, oh, it's not quite ready. Ah, there we are. If I click lie down. It has a cutaway view and you can see... Oh, we'll ignore that. That's just the menu for sleeping and things, but my backpack, my helmet, weapons and shields and boots all come off. I can just lie down, chill out in my tent, and then when I want to get up, get up. Pop everything back on again. And then we can pack it all up. So that's that's me done showing those off and we'll get back to my original plans. Uh, which is... I uh, can't remember now. Right, let's have a look. I was going to go south and just exploring and things. Looking for orc strongholds to trade with. Sort of thing. And there's one right the way towards Markarth. But, do you know what? I feel like being a bit more violent today. Dunno. Hard day at work. It was very busy. And I either want to jump in a river and just watch butterflies, or go and take my angst out with an axe to something's face, something that bleeds. So, I'm going to go north of Whiterun. I'm going to continue taking white run hold and i know there are a few camps up around this area and i'm going to bring all three of my bandits with me so let's go pick that so yes. sabrea off we go i gave her a new helmet after one of my killed people all right so you go in excellent fletch mm -hmm. off we go Good, and Bograk was somewhere this way. And that mod's even got thrones and things you can add, so I can actually give myself a throne. I am beyond pleased with finding that. Where are you, Bograk? Come on. We're off. May your next fight bring you victory. Follow me. Do I need to craft any potions, actually? Nah, I think I'm fine. Oh, they're leveling up. I'll quickly just check while I'm here. You have a grim look. Ah, that's enough of that. Um, I've got a few things to eat. Ah! My blood's gone. Oh, there we are. Well, I found another restore health, so I'll just grab a quick cup of potions. And add them to favourites. Sorted. Right. Let's get a show on the road. I am a Khajiit. I can make it. Whee! I love my home. Look at them, horses. Right, come on. So we're going north of Dragon's Reach. Finding out what we can around there. Oh, I was going to eat some food as well. Oh, I already did. That. The hike doesn't need paths. Follow the river down. Now I did kill a couple mud crabs the last time I was around here, and I never looted them. And mud crab chitin is quite useful. It looks like something's already eaten them. Never mind, I'll find some more probably. This is what I love about this character. I can just go off the road, don't need to worry about guilds or saving the world, I can just go where I want with my band of followers, looting, pillaging, 
relaxing. I can just sit on a rock and watch the river go by if I want to. I won't during the playthrough because that would get quite boring, but never mind. Is that... What are you doing? Right, I need some venison, so... Come on, come here. Oh, that's a rock. Ooh. Oh, I'm being attacked by a mud crab, am I? Come on, then. Come on. You're a particularly tough mud crab. Oh, wow. I wasn't quite expecting that to take that much damage. <laughs> right. I'll have your kite in anyway. Right, where'd that day go? Oh, they're all fighting them now. <laughs> oh, I do love this game, right. There we are. Right, that's those supplies replenished. That deer got away, didn't it? Right. Um, I better quickly take a. No, my health will be fine. I'm sure. Right, this way. I still want to avoid the snowy area. Come on, guys. I'm leaving Goldir behind, I'm sure you've noticed. He's a... Uh, not exactly bandit material, but I think he's going to end up regretting joining the band, to be honest. He felt obliged to after I helped him. But he's going to make quite a handy house call character. Keep the place safe from those bandits that will respawn. Some more ore? Right. So I can actually build a fully walled encampment at some stage. Oh, there's a watchtower there. You know, I'm practically strong enough to take on guards, especially with help. What are we feeling, guys? Ooh, butterflies. So I'm so easily distracted. Restore health property to uh, a blue one, I think. Right. You know, I'm going to save the game on the off chance. Right. Let's sneak. Got it? Good plan. Right. Thing is, as they're guards, they're going to attempt to arrest me. Let's see if I can get off a sneak shot beforehand. Stop singing! We're sneaking! Little bandits, right, that's someone by the wall. You reckon I can make that shot? I need a longbow, really. Ooh! That just chipped the wall in front of him. Didn't notice. Oh, surely. That was that was direct. Come on. It might be that it's actually too far away to hit him. Even though you can see the character, you can't actually register a hit. I think there's an innie tweak you can, which I've done to make it better, but I think it's still just too far away. Sneak attack, yes! Oh, oh, I'm getting good at this. Come on, guys. Ow. Oh, he's better. <laughs> Let's take some help. <laughs> well done, Bogrok. Shield on? No, didn't think so. <laughs> oh, Bogrok, you absolute beast. Oh, wow! That was good timing. But they are rivals. And they did not last. <laughs> Anyone else? That was awesome. I've got an arrow stuck in me. Nicely done, guys! 
synergy skill points. I'm gonna. I am monstrously overpowered with these guys, aren't I? You know what? I'm all right with that. All right. Let's get looting. Ooh, nearly, nearly. Come on. There we are. Ooh. Oh, let's take my level up now as well. Uh, I think health. This one. And we have a perk. Which shall go to... Hmm. Smithing is tempting. Because I'm sure to find a forge soon. In fact, I think there is one towards the camps I'm aiming for. Block. That's another useful. I think every, everything else has got one in. Let's stick one in block. 20% more effective. Done. Right, what else can we loot? Oh, followers leveling up. Because they level at the same time I do. Shiny. Scales. No weapons around. Oh, I can loot the guards though. Oh, charcoal. This is a nice tower, actually. Shame about that banner. Thing is, I can add banners oops, through that uh, construction mod. And I can remove existing ones through the console. Red, gold, superior hide boots, I'll take them. A longbow, I'm... I might as well have a longbow on me as well. Expensive sort of helmet. Studded armour. I'm going to be overweight very soon. Right. I'm going to loot these guys, equip my guys with the best equipment that I find, and then we'll head on our way. Right, that's everyone outfitted. A few bits and pieces spread around, some cloaks. And I dropped a load of junk that I didn't need. Don't really have... This is another thing I'll be getting once I ramp up the follower count, is getting people to garrison these sorts of areas. But this was just a nice hit and run. Not enough people to garrison yet. So we'll leave it. For the crows. Right. Onwards. Which way am I going? Right. Well, there's a white run. Oh, what's going on down here? You Rifles. Ah! We're routed. Uh -huh. Oh, I forgot I've changed round all my hotkeys. Oh, this was a long way, wasn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, bleeding damage. Got nothing I want. Where's my other corpse? Right, or six then, right. Right, so I've got my short bow. Awesome. Short bow, long bow, fists, hammer, axe and shield. Sorted. Right. Ooh, an orc. Superior hide braces. I can give them to Fletch because he hasn't got anything yet. Who are they fighting against? Saw magic being used. Any other corpses around there is? Doesn't look like it. Oh, hang on. 
Aha! Kundra. Sell them. Oh, I haven't mentioned that yet. Yet another addition from the, the Build Your Own Empire. Oh, what's it called now? <laughs> I keep forgetting the names of these things. But that construction mod is you can actually... It's got its own followers similar to my own that I've added. So I'm going to use them as well as suitable ones. Ooh! Target. Alright, so let's see if this was my longbow. Both this are well. Oh, I've got steel arrows aplenty as well. Where are they? Steel. Right. Now again, sneaky. Again, I'm saving. Breeze, what was he thinking? Who never saw me pull the ace out of my boot? Hmm. Really need the perk that lets me zoom in. Lion, little harlot. That rat ain't mine. Could be you know what? Won't get one rusty zeppelin for me. They've seen us. Let's go. They've got a magic user. Ooh! And arrows. Right. Better start. I'm going to poison some things as well. Right, kill the mage. Oh, sorry. I just poisoned my own follower. Right, let's get in this way. I can hear a crossbow. Yep, there it is. Where's my poison? Poison. Let's try that again. Oh, sorry, were you trying to reload? Go on, Oh, yep, squares down. Anyone else? Come on. Ooh. I think that was everyone. Right. Aha. How am I doing hunger wise? I could use a drink and I'm hungry. It's slightly tired, but that's not so much of a problem. Slightly tipsy, best way to be after a fight. We're doing well, guys. Right. Still here. I've warmed up from being near the fire. Ooh, chest. Alright, an apprentice lock. Yeah. I said before, I do enjoy the minigame. People have a lot of mods to add little scratches and things to help you figure out where you are, but I kind of like doing it my way. Well, when I can get it. There we are. Lovely. Anything of use? No. Mammoth skull. Tanning rack. Broom. Mammoth snout. Right, let's uh, have a look at our corpses out here. Not going to be too much on these guys that I need. I've already got pretty good helmets, my little band. Daedra Heart. Ooh. Fortify Sneak. I'm just going to eat that Daedra heart. Store health, nice. Ale. Ooh, a bear cloak. Cloaks make you look important. Oh, oh, never miss an opportunity. Fish. <laughs> right, 
Sorry guys, I'm paying attention now. Let's go in through that door and have a look around. Oh, more chests and loot. Potions, lovely. Oh, I'm not falling for that one. What's it attached to? Just a little mace. Should have known she was lying. I can avoid that. Yeah. Shiny. Right. Oh, I wanted this. Let's go. Right. Night vision. I should give these guys some torches as well. Because I'm not going to be sneaking. Hmm. Flickering fires. Ooh! Ooh. Didn't see that. Alright then, after you guys. That guy's not gonna last. Fletch, you just missed. I saw that. <laughs> Ooh, iron ore as well. I'll loot the place for all later. Right. Bit. Gold. Fine iron armour. Key to the mine. Steel mace. Don't need any of that. Potions. Careful, guys. It's full of iron ore in here. Yeah, a smelter. Ooh, need. It's, I'd feel slightly cheaty if I just add all my crafting stuff to where I'm living. But, given that I have to individually place everything, I think the effort warrants the outcome. And considering the limitations I put on my not going into towns and things, I think that's fair. Right, anyone around? I want to hit someone with a big hammer. Ooh, big chest. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's them. Oh, that's Let's take them out. Now, ain't this a surprise? Which I I hate mages. Go on, useless right, sod it. Kill them all. Yes. Score one for the hike. Fletch. He's dead already. Careful. Oh. Oh. A forge. My first forge. Synergy skill point. Lovely. Ah, a huge dead mammoth. This is another just beautiful thing about this game. All these little dungeons and things have got their own little stories. They don't mean anything in the grand scheme of anything, but the bandits are talking about cutting it up and exporting it. It's just nice touches like that that just make the whole world a much more immersive place. Books I can't read. Ha ha ha. I'll have everything on this table. Books. Spell time. Transmute mineral ore. Oh, tempting, but no. Can't read it. I wonder when they mine like that, because I've noticed they add wood when they chop wood. I don't know if the mine does it. Right, let's have a look in this big one. Amulet of Akatosh. With my main character that I use, he is Akatosh's favourite. Do like Akatosh. Uh, we'll sell that. We'll have that. We'll have that, and we'll leave that. Retire someday. Get myself an island. Right, I'll have a proper, proper, proper hunt through later. Let's just see where this leads. Just need one good haul. Yeah. Two, threes, 
Oh, I just feel like winding them up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, you're fire resistant. Never mind then. Right. Little secret cave entrance. Ah, I remember this place now. Basically, a little hole in White Run Hold. Oh, money. Full of spikes, which hurt if you walk into them, I remember, so I'm not going to. But obviously, it's caught some things. My elf. Yoink. Oh, you got nothing on you. Oh, more money. Gotta have a go, haven't I? Dear Hyde, Venison. Lovely. Give me the money. Get out of the way. Way. <laughs> ah, ow. Ah. Ow. <laughs> Need something. Right. Okay. Back out. Come Still on. Here. Out of the way, guys. I wonder if I can find that hole from the surface. Let's run back outside here. Oh, that thing swung down as well. Then. Oh, I missed this. We're just making all that noise. Right, out we go. Around this way, I can take my night eye off. It does make a big difference, night eye. You see, with a torch. Nice and dark. Don't need that on right now. And it's night time. I do you want to find where that hole came out though? So I'll pop on night eye. Lovely. Look at that sky. Do you know, I can't remember if I have a mod for the sky or not. I remember being impressed with it and then seeing some mods and thinking I didn't really need it. But then I also vaguely remember installing something. Of stuff around here. Where is that hole? Oh, calm down. I think it was around this way. Just curious more than anything. Trying to think of the geography of the dungeon. If I was a mammoth, where would I be walking around? Carcasses. Nope, I don't know. Oh well. Right, I think we'll set up shop here for the night, guys. I'll make camp, get a night's sleep, and continue on our rampage across White Run Hold. So far, it's going pretty well. Retire some 